Hey guys, it's Jay Cini here and today I've just picked up a brand new macro lens so I thought it would be a good day to talk about some tips for macro photography. Okay, so this lens that I'm holding here is the Olympus 60mm macro 2.8 lens. So as you can see, it's very, very small lens. It fits just around the palm of my hand. So a macro lens is for photography where you want to get really, really close to something. Things like taking a photo of a bee or a grass leaf, something like that that's really, really close and you want to bring that up into a much larger scale. Now macro photography is a whole different world compared to regular photography that you're doing with normal lenses. With regular lenses you can just get away with not having perfect focus on every single shot and still having the photos look sharp. However, with macro photography, you need to be very accurate. So macro lenses are very, very close focus lenses. If you try to use them for something where you're just sort of outside and you want to have a look at the landscape, then it's not going to work so well. It's going to do this weird thing where it's sort of trying to find the focus. It'll go back and forth, back and forth, and it'll never find it because it's not in the focus range. So macros are only for very close photography. So here's some tips for macro photography. So the first tip is to really stop down your aperture. So I generally like to shoot pretty wide open at 2.8, 3.2, things like that when I'm shooting on regular lenses. However, when you get to a macro lens, that depth of field is so small and it makes it so hard to get what you want in focus. So you really, really need to stop down and maybe shoot at like a 9 or an 11 f-stop and that way you'll have a lot more in focus in the shot. So having a smaller aperture will really help you to get those shots in focus. So something that you also really need to focus on because you're going to be stopping down quite a lot with a macro to get everything in focus is to make sure that you have a lot of light on the subject. So it's really important to have your subject well lit when you're shooting on a macro lens because when you're taking photos you need to make sure that your shutter speed is relatively quick because otherwise you're going to get a bit of shake when you have a macro lens, especially when it's a 60mm, which is the equivalent of 120mm on a full frame camera. You're, you're very close, so it's very easy to get a lot of shake. So if you have a really fast shutter speed, you're going to have a picture that is crystal clear. So definitely have lots of light or a flash. Okay, so my next tip is to make sure when you're using a macro lens that you use a tripod. Now, especially this one where you're zoomed in quite a lot, it's really important that you have a very stable shot. So the only way to do this properly is to use a tripod or a gimbal or some kind of external stabilization. It's very, very easy to get blurry macro shots and the way to get around that is of course to use the tripod. Something further even to add to a tripod, because when you press the button on a tripod, you can get a little bit of shake through the whole tripod just from pressing the button. So something that you can do is you can set the timer on your camera to take the photo two seconds after you press the button. So that gives the camera time to stop shaking from when you press it so the camera is absolutely still so you can get a nice clean shot. And something else really important for macro photography is use manual focus. The autofocus will get you close but if you want to get that perfect shot you will need to manual focus it. So a great thing about a lot of macro lenses is that they have a very long focus pull. And what that means is, is that it's a very long way from going from infinity focus all the way to super close up, which means you can be incredibly accurate with your focus. So learn how to manual focus, your pictures will be much better because of it. So I'm looking forward to getting out and trying this new macro lens, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, leave, leave a comment with your favourite macro lens if you have one that you prefer. Uh, this is the Olympus 60mm, it's, uh, so far it's been great from the photos I've taken. So thank you guys so much for watching, my name is Jay Cini, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.